let's start talking tools with one of my favorites, which is Kayak. And that's because Kayak has something called price trends. So Kayak has built a price trend forecast right into their website. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, but basically using algorithms, statistical analysis, historical data, Kayak is able to analyze your search and predict whether or not the prices are likely to go up or down over the next seven days. When you type in your search in inquiry at the top, I want you to look at the left-hand side under our advice. And you'll see right here this down arrow, which means prices are likely to fall. Now, this is one of the best tools, I think, on the market. Um, it's a great way to give yourself a clear heads up and your client as well. Like, if you can go to your client and say, uh, tickets right now across country are, are about $700, but I think we want to wait a couple days. Um, tell them that you will monitor the flights. This is a great way to help save them some money for their business travel. And now, well, predictions are not always perfect, they can definitely help you guys decide whether or not you want to make the purchase now. Similarly, if you look by dates, you can actually click on your outbound and return dates. Uh, Kayak does this really cool thing where they highlight different dates and colors. Green indicates that the flights are generally pretty cheap. Red is the flights are high and no color indicates that they're average across the board. Another website that I love so much that I want to bring your attention to is Google Flights. Now, Google is arguably one of the most powerful search engines to date, and they allow you to do things like filter your searches to include number of stops, price, preferred airlines, layover, etc. So let's take a look at how all this works. I'm going to enter my dates. I can pick different classes. I can pick how many passengers are traveling. I can uh, pick one-way multi-city. I want to get a little more specific here. We can talk stops. If your client wants to have a layover, we can talk specific airlines to look at if they have a preferred airlines. We can search by different departure times or arrivals. Uh, connecting airport, also a really interesting feature. Uh, I know myself, a lot of my clients have preferred hubs. Houston is a real big one, but these are very powerful tools that Google allows you to break your search down by. But the reason I really wanted to show you Google is because they have price alerts that I think are very easy to help you monitor your client's upcoming travel. So let's say your client has selected an itinerary and they want to watch this flight. Rather than you needing to track it and check it every single day, you can actually track these prices by toggling this option on. Now, once Google Flights are turned on, you will receive emails and price change information as well as travel tips for your selected destination. Uh, that it will get sent to the Gmail account that is associated with however you're searching. So let's say you've actually ended up booking the flight that you've been tracking through Google and you want to turn that notification off. It's actually really easy to do. You're gonna go back to Google Trips. Um, doesn't matter what page you're on because what you wanna do is look for these three lines in the upper left-hand corner and scroll down to tracked flight prices. Um, it'll bring you to the page where all of your flights are being tracked. So if you have multiple ones, they'll be listed here. And what you want to do is simply delete and that's it. Once it's removed, it's removed. You won't get any more email notifications. Um, final note on Google searches is that Google does not include budget airlines like Southwest or Norwegian. It's basically only major carriers. So if you have a client who prefers or needs to travel on a budget airlines, uh, thus ensuring the lowest price possible, I have another tool suggestion for you, which is, drum roll please, Mamondo. Now, Mamondo is a flight aggregator, meaning when you run a search, it compiles different options from a number of different carriers, meaning that also includes budget airlines. They also have a really cool visual tool at the top of the search options, um, which help you keep tabs on cheapest month for a particular destination. Now, Momondo is 
great because not only do I love these visual tools, um, it's great if your client is on a budget and they need to avoid certain high priced days. You can help them choose certain dates where their travel will be priced at the absolute lowest. And uh, same with Google, you can actually track flight prices for certain flights as well. Um, the last tool I want to show you is actually the most complicated. Now, Google Matrix is definitely a professional grade tool that's very complicated. And while I don't recommend that you use it to search for standard tickets, uh, what I do think this tool is really helpful for is if your client gives you a really crazy request. Uh, and I'll explain a little bit about how I use this when I get certain requests. So you can do departing from, of course, wherever your client is flying from, uh, operating codes, um, sorry, outbound routing codes are very interesting. You'll see an entire key here that's available to you, like direct flights on a specific carrier. So if your flight, uh, if your client only likes to fly United, you can actually do uh, carrier UA. So that's a specific command um, that makes the system search for United flights only. Um, and we can dive even deeper into this by searching by code share. You and I will talk about code shares later in the course and how handy these are for particularly uh, for accruing miles on different airlines. Really, really cool thing we're going to cover. Um, but, uh, you know, depending on what airlines they want to fly to, if they want red eyes, if they want to avoid um, small propeller airplanes. Again, if your client has a specific request, this thing has you covered. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. I hope these tools were helpful because when you're an assistant and you're in the thick of things, booking travel is precise, it moves fast, sometimes it requires you tracking a lot of different prices. So I hope some of these tools help you track those flights without physically having to keep an eye on them every single day. I live and breathe by these tools. And if you guys use any tools that I've missed that you love, leave me a comment because I'd love to know what you're using and I'd love to try it out for myself. Uh, thanks so much for watching this week's video. Thank you for spending some time with me and uh, I'll see you next week, travel pros. Until then, safe travels.